Welcome to Let's Talk About It. I'm your host, LaShantra Wade, with co-host, Pastor Eric Kwasi. Amen. Before we begin today, Pastor, can you open up in prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I give you all the praise. Thank you for Sister Wade for having the idea for uh, to open this talk show. We pray that you take control, lead us in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So on the last show, we had um, Paul Lanfear from the Hope Center for Kids. And the reason why I wanted to bring him on, yeah. not only because that's why I work, mm -hmm. but because it's also a part of what we were talking about, which is yeah. spiritual coverage, coverage. Um, to cover the kids. And Pastor Eric mm -hmm. preached about this yes. Sunday. Sunday. And Pastor, I wrote down five things that you said. Oh, okay. Um, about spiritual coverage. Okay. You, and you've mentioned this before. You said any container has a lid. Come on. That yeah. covers. Yeah. Um, um, your spiritual parent, spiritual yeah. father, spiritual mother, train you, this is number two, what you need to know, yeah. what you don't know. Yeah. Keep you from making mistakes, mistakes. This is number three. Yeah. Four, you, they want you to pass where they have failed. Yes. Um, to teach you the, the, the tricks of the, the trade. The trade, yeah. And number five, pray with you because there are levels to prayer. Yeah, yeah. So you're teaching us mm -hmm. everything. Everything. Not yeah. only are you teaching us, mm -hmm. but the container part is what I love because <laughs> I know I need it. Um, we have to, <laughs> you know they have a saying Trust now, yeah. say no cap. No cap, oh my goodness. You know that's because I've used it. I don't know. No what cap. does that mean? Um, no caption, maybe like no cap, like there's no lid on it. No like shade. what you said, like no lid I'll on it, just like no cap. Blunt. I'm just saying, I'm oh, putting no, it out, no. and we need that. We no. we need that um, because it reminds me of um, God. God disciplined those that He loved, yeah. but if we don't know what we're not supposed to do, yeah. so if I, if you if you <laughs> you say, look, I know you do television, I know you do, this, but this right here, yeah. I need you not to touch that. To this touch you can't. That's putting a cap, cap. on it, um, and it's very important. Yeah. Um, but the other one, this is hard to believe. This is the one I want to talk about. To pass where you have failed, there are not many pastors that want you to. Yeah. So that one, I'm like. Wow, I was shocked at that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, before I say anything, I want to thank you. Oh. All right, know, <laughs> I, I know, I know. Sometimes I'm very pulling up too much from you guys, but we're in Thanksgiving. <laughs> we're in the Thanksgiving month. Thanksgiving, we're gonna eat some big chicken. That's how I call it, big turkey. Well, turkey. <laughs> We're gonna have some big chicken mm -hmm. in some days uh, coming up, and that's Thanksgiving month. I mm -hmm. want to thank you for, uh, you know, the opportunity you're giving us, you're giving me to share the word, to give the word to some people that cannot make it, make to church. Make it to church, we meet them where they are, mm -hmm. and taking care of the archery ministry despite of difficulties and attack and the the devil been trying us. Oh yeah, he tried, mm. but we don't give up. That's, mm -hmm. that's overcomers. We don't give up. So, mm -hmm. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, Papa, to God, God be the glory. <laughs> hey, look at her. <laughs> to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Yeah. Um, you see, we live in a generation where uh, uh, people, leaders, don't trust the next generation. Mm -hmm. But then, you got to pass the baton. When you read the book of Matthew, I believe the last chapter 28, I believe, where Jesus said, Go ye therefore, mm -hmm. teach what I told you. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is passing the baton. Right. You can't live forever. It's impossible. Nobody mm -hmm. is immortal. You right. got 70, 80 at the most. If you're lucky, lucky, 100, mm -hmm. 100 some. Mm -hmm. But even 200, you gonna, sooner or later, you're going to one day go. Right. Now, when you, when you leave, what you leave behind. You leave your heritage, mm -hmm. and also you leave your legacy. Oh yeah, I'd rather leave a legacy mm -hmm. through you, through little Ty, your great son, your mm -hmm. son, your mm -hmm. daughter. Right. I'd rather leave a legacy mm -hmm. than inheritance, because if I leave a piece of land, they can sell it and plunder the money, mm -hmm. mess up the money, squander mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. However, if I leave a legacy, which is a mindset and a mentality, 
then it can stay forever and they're going to transfer it to another generation. Right. So as spiritual leaders, we need to be mindful about the next generation mm -hmm. and teach them uh, the maximum of knowledge. Yes, they may mess up, but I will, as long as we pour into them so much, they can represent us. It could be one or two of them that will stand out among the outstanding. They will stand up, they will stand out, and they will do great their job. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, Jesus said, greater work shall yeah, you, you do. do. That's right. You understand? So mm -hmm. we, as uh, fathers or spiritual mentors or spiritual fathers of life coaches, we have to release the secrets, mm -hmm. you know, what made us who we are mm -hmm. and what do we learn to some kids. Yes, not all of them going to listen, uh, but <laughs> some will listen. Some will listen. And mm -hmm. if God bless you, bless you with 12 of them, 12 or maybe three, John, James, and uh, John, James, and the third one, Jesus, like Peter. Peter. Mm -hmm. If God bless you with three that really attach to you, pour into them. Mm -hmm. Pour into them because you never know when God is going to snatch you from this earth. Mm -hmm. Pour into them, bless them. Don't be, don't be stingy in knowledge. Because mm -hmm. one thing that I notice about God is the more you give, the more he gives. Mm -hmm. So I'm eager to have revelation so I can preach it on Sunday because I know I'm, by Monday he's going to replace it. <laughs> so, yeah. I was just reading that. Um about the giving part. Um, he said it is better to give than to receive. The, yeah, there is, there is more joy in giving than right, to Right, yeah. right. But um, you know I agree with you, Papa, especially on the inheritance and the legacy, because yeah. I always said, um, my kids may not remember what I bought them, but they'll always remember what I taught them. My God. Because that's what happened with me. One of the questions was asked today was, who brought you to Christ? Like, who did you look up to? Who did you see? Yeah, yeah. You know, and it was my Mom, grandmother. Your grandma. Yeah. It was my grandmother for me. And so now it's like she started, like she planted the seed, right? Yeah. And now you're, you're taking over. Over. And I will say that it is important. I, and it's crazy because I haven't seen this in yeah, the church. Yeah. You know, the, the role that the you role, play. Yeah. And you take your role very seriously. Oh, it's crazy. Let me tell you, Pastor Eric, <laughs> do not play. <laughs> <laughs> about his role um, it is really truly being a parent and it's 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 it goes beyond the spiritual sense because you deal with a lot of people like myself who don't have a father in their life or mothers in their life and so now you're not only taking on the spiritual aspect of them but you're taking on the emotional the mental like you take on yeah, a yeah. lot of Amen. Amen. I, and and it's important um, in this spiritual walk. Yeah. It's very important because we're human still yeah. Yeah. at the end of the day. Yes, we love the Lord. Yes, we love God. Yes, we Christians. We shout. We speak in tongues. We do all of this. Yeah. But we hurt like everybody else. So it's important to have um, recovery. that I, covering. Um, I am um, sorry to catch no, you. No, go ahead. I, um, when I was praying for this show, the Lord gave me a word. Mm a word of knowledge for spiritual leaders hmm. and pastors. You see, sometimes you tend to love your own children more than the people sitting in the pews. You know, that's not how the spiritual coverage go. Hmm. Uh, you, I tell my spiritual children that I love you, just I love, I love my daughter. That's mm -hmm. what I tell them all the time. Yeah. That means the same treatment I give to my daughter, mm -hmm. I give to them. And so, he do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, in, in kindness and in toughness, mm -hmm. you don't segregate. You don't, you don't be fair. So some people don't want to have spiritual coverage because they're like, they're like, don't, they don't want no preference. Right. Just be fair. So, so many people are out there, they look for a pastor. Mm -hmm. Yes, you, we may want you guys to be spiritual children, mm -hmm. but we also have to be spiritual fathers. Right. Father, is, the father is there when the child messed up. Mm -hmm. He don't reject him. Mm -hmm. The father is there not for the correction, but for the good things too. Mm -hmm. You pray for them till they have a job. Right. Or uh, expect hurt because children remain children. But if you're a father, children never forsake the dad. The parent right. that really impacted them. Actually, they love you. Mm -hmm. Today, I, I mean, you guys know me. I don't. I don't. I'm not very much of an outgoing public person. But <laughs> no. then. Oh, one of our sisters, uh, our daughter in the church, Erlene, mm -hmm. she kind of like pushed me. You have to be part of this group right. at work. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not coming. No, you have to. Mm -hmm. And when I came, it, it kind of moved me. I said, wow, okay. Well, I did good coming. She pushed me. Proud of you. And I've seen the stuff where you guys work, the, the atmosphere. I've seen how uh, you guys came from a long way. Mm -hmm. So so in order, the Lord was telling me, in order, kids are out there. We have to be the spiritual coverage. Yep. It, it, don't, just, hmm. don't just take what they have from the hand mm -hmm. and then leave them empty. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing is to be a shepherd, another thing is to be a right. father. Mm -hmm. So Apostle Paul would give advice to Timothy. Timothy, my son in the Lord. Mm -hmm. You want to say? Mm -hmm. So he birthed Timothy, he took care of him. Mm -hmm. So God requires pastors, spiritual leaders, yep. to be fathers. Oh, yeah. I mean, when I say fathers, I really mean it. Mm -hmm. If my biological daughter is in trouble at midnight, I won't close my phone. I love her, I'm going to make sure that I get her out of jail or something. Mm -hmm. Likewise, some people in our churches, they need that coverage, they yep. need that love, and God is watching us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, why would Jesus ask Peter three times, do you love me? Do you love me? And after Peter told him the third time, yes, he came back with, feed my sheep. Yeah. Yeah. Why would he say that? Yeah. If you love me, feed my sheep. So Jesus is saying, my if you God, love me. Thank you. Feed my sheep. He didn't even say feed my children. No. Oh, he didn't even say feed your children. No. Can, can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I give you 20 years. Mm -hmm. Read your Bible and give me one single name of a biological son of Moses. Hmm. Give me how many kids did they have? Hmm. Give, me, give me where they are at. Mm -hmm. where, just tell me the just tell me the name of the wife of Elijah. Elijah. Mm. Give me the names of his children. Mm. Give me the name of the wives of Samuel, Prophet Samuel. Okay. Give me the name of his children. Mm -hmm. You probably you barely see God mentioning their children mm -hmm. in the Bible. You know why? Right. Because in the eyes of God, your biological children are as important as your spiritual mm -hmm. children. Your biological children, mm -hmm. really sometimes, it may seem like they don't really matter to God. That what matters to God is what you do with the mm -hmm. other people. Mm -hmm. So spiritual coverage is that important for God. Because mm -hmm. God transfers grace yep. from one man to another man. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the person you pass the baton may not be your biological children, child, mm -hmm. but it could be somebody else. And trust me, God doesn't play about that. Remember when you told Joshua? He said, jo he said, Joshua, get up. Mm -hmm. Moses, your, uh, Moses uh, uh, my servant, is mm. dead. Yep. Get up. You're going to take these people. In another word, you're going to continue the mission. mission. Yep. You're going to take it on. And then when you read back in the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy, the Bible says, uh, Moses called Joshua and prayed and blessed him and mm -hmm. anointed him. Mm -hmm. He transferred the grace of leadership mm -hmm. into him. Mm -hmm. However... Joshua was following Moses almost everywhere. Hmm. Now, when Moses sent Joshua and Caleb and the ten old, tell, uh, ten old people mm -hmm. to the land, to the promised land, to inspect the land, they were gone for 40 days yep. and they came with some pomegranate and all this good mm -hmm. stuff. Two of them stood out and ten older spoke uh, evilly or negative or negative report mm -hmm. to the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, Joshua and Caleb, they end up having the leadership after Moses because they had the spirit of Moses. Mm -hmm. And it's so important that right. as spiritual leaders, we take time. It is difficult. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me it's easy with your biological children. So if it's not easy with your biological children, Definitely. it might not be easy for your spiritual children. <laughs> no. But take time, yep. groom them. Mm -hmm. They may run from you. You see, I heard a preaching from my spiritual mentor. I, he, I call him Pops. He's a father. Mm -hmm. I, I call him Pops. My, my, he's a father. He's my father. And he's like, he's like, uh, don't let me leave you. Hmm. You understand? So if you are a father and your son is like, I'm going to leave you, you're going to be like, don't. I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like I won't let you go. Because the, the, the bond between you and I is so strong that it takes all of me to leave you. 
But I'm going to make sure you and I will stay together because <coughs> I have to put seed in you. Right. I have to transfer something into you. Mm -hmm. And if you leave prematurely, the enemy is going to get you. Mm -hmm. It's not time yet. And people don't understand that. There's like, um, they don't understand our relationship. No. They don't understand um, today when we was at um, Hope and we was talking and, and, and I was thinking, I was like, um, we get to talk about you. You know, you're very humble. Pastor Eric, I will say <laughs> I that. Pastor Eric, I don't even know how humble. One of the things that I, when I was talking to one of the guys there, and I'm like, do they realize that you poured into us, mm -hmm. what you poured into us have allowed us to pour into and to, this and to, to do what we do. It's, it is because because people don't want a spiritual, they don't want somebody to tell them. To tell them, no. No, yeah. don't go there, don't touch this, don't yeah. do this, don't do this. And they don't want you to know, they don't want you to yeah. know their bad side, yeah. they're good, you yeah. know. Yeah. So it's hard for people to give up that, how can I say, but their the, privacy, the, their freedom, they don't want to do that. That's one of the drawbacks of spiritual coverage mm -hmm. is trust. However, trust, yep. it takes time to build trust. Mm -hmm. Remember today, Pastor King was speaking about um, um, uh, stuff we shouldn't do as pastors, mm -hmm. you know, as leaders. Because yep. people watching, mm -hmm. once you're in leadership, you are held un accountable. Mm -hmm. Everything you do is magnified thousands of times. Oh, yeah. Whatever you say, uh, whatever, that's why I'm so mm -hmm. careful about what I post <laughs> on social media. You probably go, you, you gonna look on my social media. I, I, be, I, put, I barely put stuff there. Who not only are you careful about your stuff, but then you get on us about <laughs> ours. I'm telling yes. you, like, Pastor Eric, when I tell you Pastor Eric is like the father of fathers, oh my god. I goodness. watch everything they put he, on we social call him, We call him the, the, the Facebook, Facebook police. police. Yes. <laughs> you take his job seriously. Yes, because, because we are ahead. I'm trying to teach my spiritual children that you're going to be leader tomorrow. Mm -hmm. when, when you say something, think about the other side. Mm -hmm. it, it's... it's when you decide to be a spiritual leader, it, your, your lifestyle becomes very, very, very... Um, uh, people watch you with the magnifier. You have to be careful. Careful. You have I to mean, be careful because somebody, uh, somebody, a regular, I'm going to say a regular person, yeah. like, they can do the same thing you do. Can you imagine Jesus... But when we do it, it's different. Can you imagine Jesus cussing at somebody? Using mm -hmm. S word, F word, and all that. Jesus doing I that. Do that. I'll, I'll probably drop out. I'll be like, no, you know Jesus. You understand? Right. So the demand placed on the spiritual leader is 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 stressful. But like he asked me, uh, 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 you see how hard is it? And I told him it's doable. It's because, doable. It's doable Everything because doable. it's God that call you and nobody yeah. call you. Right. So spiritual coverage is critical. Yes. Go get your pastor, go get yourself a mentor, a spiritual mentor, a spiritual coverage. Also, let the spiritual father welcome everybody. You're going to welcome some fake ones. You're going to welcome some good ones. You're going to have some bad ones. You're going to welcome lots of them, like Jesus. Even mm -hmm. Jesus had to welcome a crook, a thief, mm -hmm. a yeah. murderer. Yeah. So, so you're going to welcome everybody. Mm -hmm. With times, you know, time will tell you know, the difference, and those that should stay or that should not stay. But if God give you one, two, three, four, five, or 20 spiritual children, please pour into them. Don't, don't snatch them, what, what is dear to them. Don't break their heart. You know, pour into them. Be with them. Be yeah. the father. Mind you that not all of them had a father that really loved them. Mm -hmm. And you have to, and we have to be open to that. Open. And know that it's necessary. Yes. You know, the one thing that really bothers me, and I just really bothered me this month, or last month actually, and coming in this month is, God knows my heart. Yes. God knows my heart. God knows my heart. Yes. I don't have to go to church. I don't need a pastor telling me what to do. That, <laughs> that, no, seriously, this is what I hear about. Like, yeah. I, that bothers me so much because, yes, God knows your heart. I get that. We're going to be accountable for the, uh, I tell you what, we're going to be accountable for the words that come out of our mouth. Yeah. We're also going to be judged by our works. Our works. And if, you know, the, some of the things that the people that say this say, mm. if they were in church, yeah. if they had somebody over them, they would know better than to say the things come that they on, say. Come on. Because you don't know everything. Dang, no. Tell me one scripture in the Bible, well, the whole entire Bible, I, I know the Bible, I can read, I can quote the scripture. 
but can you explain it to somebody? Yeah. Do you have the revelation from it? What about the parts that you don't understand? Who do you go to? No Who do, matter, who's teaching you? No matter how smart you are, you cannot auto teach yourself many mm -mm. things. Somebody's gonna have to give you information. Oh yeah, that's right. I tell people I, what I say. A uh, master degree means nothing without a degree from the master. Oh my How God. do you get that? Say that again. A master degree, master's degree means nothing without a degree from the master. Talk to me. So how do you get that? Not only did Jesus tell Peter to feed his sheep, not only did Jesus say, I'm going to leave you a comforter, which was the Holy Spirit. He said, he said, Peter, feed my, she my sheep if you love me. And then he said, I'm going to leave you. you. A comforter, but guess what he gave us? Mm. He said, I'm going to give. He said, Some I give apostles, some I, I give, give preachers, <laughs> some I give. <laughs> Why would he do Preach. that if we didn't need it? He said, I get just like God gave his only begotten son. What did can, Jesus can, can give? Can I us? stop you for a minute? Go ahead, Papa. <laughs> the greatest thing about being a spiritual cover as a spiritual father or spiritual mother is when you see mm -hmm. uh, hmm. yourself into somebody else or your own child hmm. when they preach and you're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've done a good job. Anyways. This is, this I saw is, that today with my daughter. Yeah. At home. Speaking. Did you see um, Mr. May ask her yeah. what was that on the board? Yeah. What are you teaching the kids? Yeah. And she explained. She, she explained. Said, you were talking. She explained and she it like, to him. Proverbs 28, verse 7. She said, what does he say? He said, you should know. Yeah, but she didn't know. <laughs> what, but said, we knew what it was. We knew what it, we knew what it was. was. And I find myself, I'm not, listen. And we like need, at, we, at, the, at the meeting at the well, I give it to, because, you know, sometimes I throw a question and whoever that got the question, I give money. Mm -hmm. You know, five digits on courage, you know. What did she do? She went and put it in the basket. And I'm like, I'm like, who are you trying to, like, you trying to. I said, she got, I talked her well. Yeah, I said, no, I give, well. me credit, like, give, no, me give me credit, give me credit, <laughs> give me credit. She's giving me credit, please. I mean, right. Because it was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was so well done. Mm -hmm. It was so, I mean, I, I. It blew my mind. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, please give me credit. Please tell me. <laughs> please. I love because it. We, the gestures were so beautifully coordinated. We don't know what it takes. Like, yeah. um, you say all the time that people think that you have it made, yeah, right? Yeah. And I, I know why you say that, because people don't understand the prayer, the fasting, the fasting. all of that. Yes, you ask us to do it, but you've already done it. Done it. I think it's like, you're not going to ask us to do things that you yourself have not done. Come on. Like, I'm trained for this. Yes. You guys, you, yes, you go to work, you have jobs, you have, this is my job. job. This is what I do 24-7, yes. 365. Yes. And I've been doing it for a long time. My yeah. relationship with God is not... Our relationship with mm -hmm. God is all different. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we need that. Just like I say, we need a mirror and a friend. Mm -hmm. and, a, and I'll be lying if I say it. I, I hesitate sometimes, Papa, yeah. before I say things. Yeah. I know it don't seem like it, but I do. <laughs> before I post things, before yeah. I, because I'm like, hmm, I'm not I'm getting in trouble for this. So I'm like, watching <laughs> all the way up, all the way. I'm reading Oh, that's Eric going to get me if I say this. <laughs> but you need that because need if that. you don't have that cap, yeah. you will be out, out. of control. And you know, this, I do the same thing too. Mm -hmm. I may be mad. I'm like, I'm going to post something. And I'm like, yeah, I should try to go and be like, Papa, they say this. So I just rather not do it. You, you know, I'm not saying somebody's going to jerk your freedom away. Mm -hmm. No, we're not taking your freedom away. No. But there, there, has to be, um, there has to be a certain control. And, and, you know, God knows that you can't control yourself in, right. and when, and when it comes to your emotion or your, your, your tendencies. So somebody has to right. help you, check you out, take you. You know, tell you, hey, no, this is good, this is not good, don't do this, don't do that. Everybody needs this. Right. That's also why every, and we said it again, we said it many times, everybody, if you're a believer, you need a home church. Yes. What is a church? A church represents the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. All believers, the assembly of saints, according to some, uh, some chapter 89, verse 6, 7, 8. Those that are saved by the ultimate sacrifice of Christ at the cross. It is nothing... It has nothing to do with the building hmm. alone. The building, we will call it a synagogue. Nowadays, we confuse the building and the church. 
So once you are safe, don't say no. I wanna, I wanna pull myself out. Mm. I don't like nobody. No, 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 no. You're gonna have to be part of a church. That means the part of the body of Christ. Now, this body of Christ, which is all the believers, they meet into a place to pray, mm -hmm. which is sometimes we call the denomination. Yep. That too is very, very, very important. One, we are united. Div div uh, once we separate, we are divided, and the enemy can mm -hmm. kill us, and it's very, very dangerous. So, people don't like to go to church. People say they don't need church mm -hmm. because they don't want, they don't want, they don't want to commit. They don't want commitment. Yep. They don't want to, they don't want to do with church and all right. that. Uh, some people think that church is a place where they, they. They, they steal their money. Right. No, 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 my friend. The building you see is expensive. Mm -hmm. The carpet has to be clean. The building has to be maintained. It costs something. Right. Now, mind you that there are some people that don't have for their rents. The, the church is the place where when you don't have anything, you go and the church should help you. Right. You know, when the church help you, also help the church. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, so we right. help one another. Right. The church is very important. Spiritual coverage is very, very it important. It really is. You don't want to lose your soul. We're going to have to do one more show on yeah, this. Yeah, love um, to see. Love before to we see. go, the one thing I wanted to say is Jesus is coming back for the church. Oh, yeah. Right and if you're not church. a part of the church, then Guess what? he might not be coming back for you My because, God. you know, you can't say, I love the Lord and mm. only, and and we are the body of Christ. of Christ. And if you're not a part of a church, church. you're not a part of that body. body. So when he come back to get that, yeah. where will you be? Yeah. So it's very important. So um, Pastor Eric, we got like, we really kind of went over, but like a few seconds a to few seconds. just pray us out. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless you for everyone out there, every pastor that covered every soul, every ship. I pray in the name of Jesus that you give them the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, to keep being a spiritual coverage. And I also bless you for the sheep, the people under the spiritual coverage that need protection. I pray in the name of Jesus that you give them the spirit of service so they can serve in order to understand the mysteries of spiritual coverage. Thank you, Lord. you the greatest coverage. We thank you. We give you all the praise. Amen. Amen. Until next time. Amen. <laughs>